Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with uh, the bro Ross over here. Tom Tukuro has just come down here with his partner and we're doing a bit of uh, hunter gathering together. So we're just down here at the harbour. There he is, oh, Ross. Hey. There he is. Kilda. Ross brought me some trout last night. Bloody beautiful. Very, very tasty. Man. Haven't had trout for years. <laughs> Anyway, so we're on a bit of a hunter gathering mission tonight for you guys. Just down in the harbour here, we're going to try and get a few oysters. Now, they're not very big ones here, but we're just going to get enough for a bit of a taste test. As you guys know, I love uh, having my taste test, so we should get a few of those before we head down to the harbour and do a bit of fishing and night fishing. See if we can get a snapper or, or some kahawai or something like that. No stingrays or eels, thank you tonight. <laughs> so uh, stick around if you uh, like the sort of stuff, and um, hopefully we'll get some koi for you guys to see and for us to eat. So first spot is the oysters. So we're going to find out if there's any decent ones here to, to grab. So yeah, look at that. See, that should be alright. Love a good feed of oysters. I reckon bro, any in there? Okay. Oh, there's a couple down there. The old bad knees. Always about getting the kai. Here we go. Not a big one, but they're going to be tasty. Rubber, what's she up to? So it's low tide about probably a quarter of an hour ago. So I think this boat's just starting to turn now, so high tide's about the south of 11 tonight sometime. So it should be key to pie. Uh, we're gonna go for a fish off the beach, but it's pretty rough out the other side. So the harbour is probably the best place to sort of hang out. Too much hard work on the other side. So, all right. So here we are. We just grabbed a little bag full, just enough for a bit of a taste test. That's all we need. Don't pick too many. Otherwise, you've got too many to open up. Like that. Yeah. Got a bit of cloud over the over us too now, which is good. Do you fellas know where I am? Hey, the old secret spot, here it is. <laughs> I know some of you guys that watch my videos looking out for the old land points. <laughs> well, I don't mind showing you this one because it's not even my secret spot. like it's good too a lot of people have all back off home now from the holidays so oh yeah keeps the little bait fish down there you guys can't see it but like a little white bait down there a big white bait mm. see that'd be quite hard to see if you're uh, coming here spearing for founder yeah chirp lady see chirp Oh, we can see a lady um, fishing like that in a dress, in a going out dress. <laughs> right, so there we are, just getting all our gear ready. A few rods here. We're going to be going fishing at that point just up here a little bit. 
We'll park over here so you can keep an eye on the vehicle a bit. Do you have a good feeling about this tonight, bro? Or um, you got a good feeling about this? Do you uh, think we'll do all right? Well, I'm, I'm hoping to be, but yeah. Yep. I suppose I'm going to like that, eh? Yeah. Get excited before we get down there. First yeah. few cars get excited and then um, sometimes it just... Yeah, that's um, it. A couple of hours later you think, you know, I mean, should have stayed home, but... But you never know, eh? The best part is just being out here doing exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Until you're out here, you know, it's just... That's right. It's good tonight too, there isn't, isn't much wind tonight, no, isn't which it? is good. Yeah, so it's a beautiful night, it's probably about an hour incoming tide. So... It's always good to fish the... Um, yeah, maybe, you know, full tide, hour going out, something like that, or before the current really pushes up, eh? It's, the water flows out here pretty quickly out here. Yeah, so hopefully we get some snapper tonight. A couple of be right. A beautiful night. Have a fish? Want to fish? Yeah. Big, big one. Get some. Right What is it, eh? Kahawai. Oh, yeah. A little follow. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll hold it for you. Your harbour special. There you go, you go that way. And she does follows down there. Oh, well, at least you have to on the board anyway. Yeah. Yep, well, you can't come to the harbour and not get a stingray. That's what harbour fishing is about. Always get a freaking stingray or eagle ray or an eel. Right, it's just getting dark now. This camera is really good in low light. It's actually darker than it looks. Ross just got another nice little hit on the other rod. Alright? 
Three number two. <laughs> right, so here you go, second ray of the evening. <laughs> Oh, another nice snap. That's a fish ball. <laughs> Yay! It's a nice snapper. Yeah, nice size. Yeah. Was it on octopus uh, squid? Yeah, that was just oh, the yeah. last one. We got bonito on the other one. Well, that's a good size. Now just one the other, but it's good too. It's, oh, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah. Another snapper. Ah, it's your night tonight. Is that salon squid? No, um, bonita. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've run out of squid. Oh, there's your eel there. Yeah, I, I think that's the second buddy here. The same eel I've already picked up the first time. Taking them home with you? No, no, I was going to put it back. I was just going to put it back in. Oh, well done. Yeah, that's a nice one. There you go, I finally got a sapper for the night. And that was on Bonito. Oh, shit. And you slide the hook too. Yeah, good size. Yay. Squid didn't work, pilchards didn't work, first cast with Benito. Look at that. Bloody hell. Right, can you guys see me? See me there? Well, I've just managed to get a, another nice snapper with two rods. One got a snapper and then five minutes later the other rod got a snapper so two snapper in about five minutes that was just using uh, bonito at the bro head i'll use pilchards squid change to bonito two rods bang two fish just like that so uh yeah it's nearly up to it's nearly midnight so we we'll probably be heading off soon been an awesome night at the end for me anyway and the bro got four snapper stingray and a couple of eels and then I pulled in the stingray on the rod that he was using as well so yeah pretty okay night I think here in the harbour so I will head off soon Good morning everyone, we are here down at Whakatani Heads, I'm right next to the boat ramp. So it's a busy year's day today, uh, big swells everywhere, Whakatani Heads is pumping heaps of surfers out there today, uh, people everywhere so I'm just trying to find some place out of the way where no one will bother me and it's nice and quiet that I can do this cook up for you guys today. So cooking up today, a trout on the gas stove. The frying pan with some olive oil and butter and lemon dill seasoning. Also, right, so enjoy this little cook up video down here at the Whakatani Heads boat ramp car park right behind me here. I'm just going to scale it because we want to fry up the skin. He also uh, gave me a smoke trout as well, 
which was bloody delicious. So get all those excess scales off the going to score it a bit. Just salt that. As you guys know I love my lemon and dill seasoning so we're going to put a bit of that on. That's all ready, so I'm just going to get the gas burner on, get the frying pan on, we have a bit of olive oil and butter, and we're going to put the trout on, herbicide down on the pan, and that should taste really nice. Now I've got the table here to try and block some of that wind the other way. It's nice and balanced. Yeah, it's pretty good. Extra virgin olive oil as well. We want to get that nice and heated up before we add our trout in there. Go herb and salt side down. Got this side here I'm going to salt as well. That's all it needs. I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of butter just in here. Oh yeah, beautiful. Also got here a tomato out of my garden. There's a, a yellow variety. My tomatoes are pumping nicely now. So when I flip that trout over, I'm going to put some tomato on there as well. Got lovely colouring in, in these tomatoes. Give it, give it a bit of a flip. Oh, look at that. Look at that nice crispy skin on there. Oh, awesome. See that oil in it? Oh, beautiful. That trout smells delicious. Can't wait to taste that. That's how you do it. Mm. Look at that guys. Put that nice colour on that. Into the pan. Oh, yeah. Rubber, you hungry girl? Hey? You're hungry. Say hello to everybody. Papa, say hello. Well, oh, our lunch is nearly ready. Down here in Fakatani, everybody's going about their business, walking around in the hot sun, swimming, boating. Yeah.
I think they're pretty much ready, guys. Mm -hmm. We've got tomatoes to cook for a bit longer. And lunch is nearly ready. Oh yeah, that's ready. What? I might get the trout out now. Ooh. There you have it. Right, turn the stove off. Thank you, Ross. The trout that Ross has caught, along with a couple of tomatoes out of my garden and I'm just going to be drizzling some of this on top of there don't tell Aaron and there you guys go that was a bit of a taste test here oh they're just flaking off oh look at that Oh, that skin, best part of the fish. Mmm. Mmm, yum. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. Mm, tino Greca, the Tarauti. Oh man, there's a bone there. Mmm, look at that, see? It's rubber, rubber. Yeah, my little mate. So, excuse the fingers, but only where I can eat the fish. Oh look at the oh, bloody sand flies man. They're coming out now. Look at that. Very nice. Mmm. That's very sweet. Squeeze my fingers again. Just trying to film at the same time. Ooh. Mmm. First tomatoes are sweet, <coughs> raw, and they're actually really sweeter. Cooked as well. They're pretty good for your cooked tomatoes. Full of lysopene. So, well, there you go. I'm gonna have a bit more for you guys and then I'm gonna sign off and skedaddle home. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And um, thanks Ross for the trout and your company last night fishing. A bit of a cool fella and 
I'm a good fisherman. The pretty mean cast, and you know how to catch a kai. Pretty impressed, bro. So yeah, it was awesome. Had a great night. And I'll see you. I'll see you next time, bro. When you come down. Show some more of my secret spots that I have. Hey guys, we'll catch you later.